The apparatus should always be positioned to protect the scene, patients, and emergency personnel. Angle the parking at 45 degrees to protect the scene and provide an adequate, safe work area. This angle also directs motorists around the scene. Allow enough distance to prevent a moving vehicle accident from knocking fire apparatus into the scene. For incidents that may require a hose line, angle the engine so that the pump panel is downstream or away from moving traffic. This will protect the scene as well as the pump operator. Intersections and center of the road emergencies pose additional risk of vehicle traffic from two or more directions. The first apparatus on the scene should park in a position that blocks the most risky approach from traffic. Additional emergency vehicles, if responding, should be positioned to block other vehicle traffic. Block the most critical area first, the second most critical area next. The initial company officer or command must be proactive and assess the total parking needs of the scene. Later arriving fire apparatus must be specially directed to other parking positions so that the whole scene can be protected. Apparatus should be assigned positions at the scene with the same aggressiveness that we assign companies to critical tactical positions at a fire. For freeway emergencies, we will continue to block the scene with the first apparatus to provide a safe work area. Other companies may be used to provide additional blocking if need be. The initial company officer or command must thoroughly assess the need for apparatus on the freeway and available parking positions. Traffic cones can also be placed on the freeway, however they should be placed further apart with the last cone approximately 150 feet upstream to allow adequate warning of motorists. Again, always face traffic when placing and retrieving cones.